Hi guys, I recently put up a video of BJ Penn passing the guard in some of his mixed martial arts fights. It's really tough to pick up the details, so what I've decided to do is show you guys uh, those techniques. They're actually some of my favorite techniques in jiu-jitsu. Um, and break them down for you with the help of my partner Ryan here. Uh, we're going to show you the details so you guys can uh, use those techniques in your training. Another one of my favorite uh, passes from the half guard and one that when I learned it, it really changed my game because it was a position that was causing me a lot of problems. Now I have a few other ways to counter this situation but this is a really good way and BJ pulls it off flawlessly and it gives him the mount position which is the best, of course in my opinion, in mixed martial arts to get that mount. So Brian is going to have me in the half guard and what he does, just a regular half guard the legs on the outside, here. And everybody knows how to deal with that, but sometimes the guy makes a butterfly hook here and he has this over your leg so you can't pass, and he has this underneath so that he sometimes can sweep you, taking the hook off and sweep you to the side this way, or at least unbalance you or get his guard back, create trouble. So once I feel this, I have to be very careful. So I don't want to be leaning to this side. What I want to do here is I want to establish, as soon as I feel this, I want to establish this underhook, which is kind of different from all other half guard passes. Normally I'm around the head or I'm over top here, but this is on this side, underhook. So you're establishing the underhook on the side of your free leg, here. Okay, you can grab the shoulder. I like to just put my hand on the floor with my elbow, let's turn this way a little bit, just close to his body. Elbow close so he can't get the underhook on me. If I'm open, he gets it back and then the move's not going to work. So I go here and I make sure I have the underhook. Now, let's turn back. I want to make sure that he doesn't sweep me this way. I'm still vulnerable. If he takes his right hook off and lifts the hook, he's going to unbalance me this way. So what I want to do is I want to take my head and put it all the way to this side, to the floor, here. So if he tries to sweep me, I'm extremely heavy if he tries to go that way, okay? And he can't do nothing this way. If he tries to roll me this way where I'm leaning, my head's here. I have good balance. My head's on the floor and I'm crushing him here, making sure he doesn't get the underhook. If he tries to get the underhook, I don't let him very tight. If I lose this underhook, I come back. I don't stay there. So underhook, here, nice and tight. Head goes to the floor. Not so much forward, more to the side, and I crush his leg. I keep his leg really low. Now, he tries to work. Move around. It's tough for him. I just put my palm on his knee, push down to the floor, and mount quickly over top with my sole on the mat. Here. And then I close and move into the mount position. Awesome technique guys, and it can make a situation that's very tricky, very dangerous, um, easy to deal with. So when I feel him have the half guard, and I feel him make that butterfly hook, I establish the underhook on this side, the free leg side. Boom. Now I throw my head way over here, I put all my weight on his chest with my shoulder, on the solar plexus right here, and I put my head down. If he tries to move, it's very awkward because he doesn't have that underhook. He feels like he wants to roll me this way, but I have too much balance. Okay, I crush and I put his leg close to the floor here. Now I push it down and then I mount over top. Keeping my hand on his knee until I have the mount with my sole, then I can pull my arm up and establish the best position. Let's change angle. Here. Turn this a little bit. Butterfly hook. Okay, again I'm establishing this underhook here. Head goes way over here to the side, push down on the knee, and mount right over top. Let's try it one more time. Here, butterfly hook. Make sure you don't get the close guard on you. Keep this tight. Under hook here. I just put my hand on the floor and close my elbow. Some guys grab the shoulder. Head goes to the far side. Hips low. Push his knee. Mount with your sole. And come on. Now BJ actually does that in the next three um, videos, so it's three times he does that on that uh, video that was on YouTube.